Welcome to SNN. Today is Friday, March 30th, 2012. It is a sky day, which means star periods 1, 3, and 5. It is the eve of spring break. <sighs> spring break. The day is finally here. Yes, but that's the point. We have the day here and now, and there are still a few details to cover. Speaking of cover, Mr. Williams is here to talk about the earthquake drill. Drop, cover, and hold, right? What does that mean exactly? I'm so glad you asked, and I hope this, yeah, this is on. Okay, <laughs> too many details to cover this morning. So today we're going to talk a little bit about an earthquake drill and making sure that you're safe if we have an earthquake. And in a minute, we're going to give you a chance to practice. But I think we have, don't we have a video yes, we that we do. can show? All right. Yeah. So the idea behind this is you want to make sure that you are under something that can protect you in case there are things falling in the event of an earthquake. So the drop part means you get down underneath a desk or something like that in the classroom. Cover means you actually put one hand up over your head like this. And the hold part means you hold on to whatever it is that you are under in case it starts to move. So let's take a look at a video here real quick. Now they did a little acting here. You're not supposed <laughs> to shake the table that you're under. That's just kind of meant to simulate an actual earthquake. Yeah. So notice how they're holding on to whatever it is that they're under, just in case it decides to move on them. All right, and I think that was our that was our S N N class, right? Yes, that was our S N N flex class helping us out with that video. So, at this time, we're going to give you a chance to practice. So, in the classroom, we're going to take oh, uh, probably the next thirty seconds, mm -hmm. and we just need everybody to go under the table and drop, cover, and hold. So, go ahead. <laughs> you too here. There um. we go. Good job, everybody. Um. <laughs> Don't trip on the cord, though. I'm ducking. <laughs> okay, everybody, thank you for your participation today. Go ahead and come back out under from underneath those tables if you're under them. Now, in the event of an actual earthquake, so if we had an actual earthquake and it wasn't a drill, we would evacuate the building eventually, but you need to make sure that you are listening to your teacher because we will give the teachers kind of the signal to let them know that it's safe to evacuate. So we're not going to evacuate today, mainly because it's raining and cold outside, but in the, in the event of an actual earthquake, we would evacuate the building once the building is deemed safe to leave. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Smith for some other announcements. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, say so, uh, a couple of quick things. First of all, band members and staff, please listen up. Uh, today is the yearbook deadline and we had an issue with our band pictures. And um, so we have to retake the band pictures today. So what's going to happen is once SNN is over, we would like sixth grade band to report to the band room. Um, so again, after announcements, sixth grade band report to the band room because you need to have your picture retaken. Also, at the beginning of seventh grade star today, once uh, roll has been taken, we need all band members to report to Mr. Esser's room. And the same thing during eighth grade star, once roll is taken, please report to the band room. We'll make an overhead announcement to remind everyone, and we apologize for the disruption, everybody, but uh, we need to retake the band pictures. It's and um, Oh, yes. And Science Olympiad needs to be retaken, but that will happen during flex. So band at the beginning of star and Science Olympiad during flex. So um, thank you for being flexible and patient with that. All right, let's see who's been safe, respectful, and responsible on this spring break eve, so to speak. You want to hold this for me? Okay, let's see. Devin Dansu, Nellie Gast, Evelyn Tupakova, Ben Harada. Alex Logson, Logston, Jordan Dunn, Cody Jackson, Jacob, uh, Jacob Kelso, Pauline Lee, 
Alex Smith. And, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. If I don't see you, have an awesome spring break. Thank you, Mr. Williams and Mr. Smith. If you missed it yesterday, it will return today. Track is coming up. The first practice is the Monday back from spring break, April 9th. All your paperwork and forms must be turned in today. Check with Mrs. Button in the main office. If you have questions about the first day of practice, please talk with the coaches. Mr. Condon, Mr. Houston, Mrs. White, Mr. Blair, or Mr. Hunting. We know you don't want to think about the Monday back from spring break, but the reality is that it will come. So think about sweats for the first day. Comfort clothes. Which are school appropriate, and that means sweats. The week we return is the start of the spirit week. The Monday back from spring break is all about comfort, so wear your sweats and ease back into the routine. Tuesday is gender wars with girls in blue and boys in red. Wednesday is college day. Wear your favorite college, col college colors or teams such as U of O, OSU, Cougs or Huskies, Yukon, that's for Seamus, Duke, Michigan, whatever, wherever. Thursday might be a little bit harder. You need a twin. So get one of your friends and dress up together. Same scarf, shoes, t-shirt. And Friday there's a spirit assembly and it's color wars. Who wears what? Sixth and maroon, seventh and white, and eighth and blue. Home for spring break? Well, just your luck. With an up-to-date account, you can check out more books for break. How many depends on you. Ask Miss Pappas today and start stocking up. You can watch movies, too. Over spring break at the Camus Public Library, library, there are free movies and popcorn every day. Monday, you can see The Lion King. Tuesday is Puss in Boots. Wednesday is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part two. Thursday is Hugo. <laughs> and Friday is The Muppets. Shows start at 2.30 each day, April 2nd to April 6th. Also at the CPL, that's the Camus Public Library, for you people who don't know abbreviations, there's the Teen Read Cafe Book Discussion Group for 7th grade and up. The upcoming book, In Discussion, will be a novel called Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson. It's one of our Ridge Reads, so the LMC has multiple copies. That's great, but get this. At CPL, you can borrow a special copy of the book from the library, you read it, you come to the meeting, and then you get to keep the book for free. Sign up is required. Snacks and an activity, too. The, again, the next book is Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson on Tuesday, mm -hmm. April 17th at 4 p.m. Books are available for pickup now. Two contests to wrap up today. Watershed of Words Essay Contest. And Camtown Poster Contest. You know what you need to do. Plus, the forms for both are available in the main office. The deadline is today for both. Later today, SNN will show a short video on Channel 14, which includes some interviews the SNN Flex class did about your plans for spring break. Some people are traveling. A teacher is going to Nashville. Another to Hawaii. Another hopes to golf, but has a plan B. And another is getting her roof and gutters cleaned and an oil and lube on her car. That's living for you. <laughs> It'll play on Channel 14 on an infinite loop starting at 1.45 this afternoon. Miss Pappas will send out a reminder email. We wish you all a great break, whatever you're doing. Today's quote, sometimes the most urgent thing you can possibly do is take a complete rest. Here at SNN, we hope you have a wonderful spring break in doing whatever you want. We said that already. And we mean that. Follow the sky code and be safe. Be respectful and be responsible. This has been Isabella. And Madison. At this time, please stand for the pledge. <laughs>